15. How many four topping pizzas can be made from 20 topping choices? So the first thing we have to decide is we know we have 20, we're picking four, choosing four here. Well, the question is, is this a permutation or a combination? Four topping pizzas, does the order matter? If you order onions, bacon, pepperoni, and sausage, does the order in which I told the person make any difference? No, they're just throwing all those different toppings on there. Order doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what they put on there first, second, they're just mixing them all. Order doesn't matter. So it's a combination problem. Okay. So we're going to use the NCR button. So we can do it on a calculator or we can come, as it says here, let's go to Desmos and we need to pull that, hit the functions button, go all the way down, say, Hey, do the NCR for me. We had, we had 20 toppings picking four. So let me move this out of the way. Let's type in two zero for 20. Oops, we're outside of the parentheses. Okay. Parentheses 20 comma four. And it says, hey, there's 4,845. So we have 4,845 possibilities for that. Let's try number 16. I must pick three kids to go to the office to pick up a heavy box for me. From the 15 kids in my class, how many can I pick? Does the order matter here? I'm picking three kids. Does it matter who I picked first, second, and third to go down the office? All three are walking down there. The order didn't matter. So this is, again, an NCR problem. So if we come back into Desmos, we can, in this case, we already have the NCR pulled up. So we had how many kids did I have to pick from? I had 15 kids and I picked three. So 15 comma three comma three. It says, hey, there's 455 ways you could send those guys down to the office. So this is 455 different ways to send them down to the office. And finally, from 26 letters, I must pick a passcode using three of them. So you have your first spot, second, and third. So you got to pick from the 26 letters. So you might pick, and you can't repeat them, how many passcodes exist using this. So you might use A, X, D, or maybe it's A, D, X. Does the order matter? Yes, order matters. This is a permutation then. So we're going to come back in here, and we're going to pull up the permutation. Let's close that out. Let's hit our functions. Scroll all the way down. Move this guy again all the way down. We're using a permutation. And there's 26 letters, and we were choosing three of them. We were putting in three. 15,600. 15,600 different passcodes we can make from just using three letters of the alphabet without repeating one of those letters again. So there you have it. Desmos helps us calculate these things pretty easily. We just have to decide, is it a combination or a permutation? This was a permutation, so we use the permutation button.